Welcome to this episode of Scrap Your Travers. Today we are racing, and it isn't just me. Look at this. Yep, there's four of them. We're doing push pole racing. Some of us are doing flag pole racing because they're nuts. And then trailer racing and an, and an enduro, 50 lap enduro. This is going to be crazy. I haven't been on concrete in a year. So yeah, I've been at Wasso Speedway, I should mention that. Big oval track. It's actually a pretty decent sized oval track. We're still doing some last minute work. I'll show you some of that. Alright, real quick, I just got to interrupt myself. I know this is kind of a long video. Totally worth it. The last few races, we things get wild and get epic. It's a long night of racing. I definitely learned a lot from doing this and filming it. I mean, I've done night instruction racing many, many times before. I definitely got to have two people at two different spots filming. Definitely a shout out to JM Racing. Hopefully you follow him on Facebook for supplying a lot of the video you see tonight. Yeah, definitely going to change it up next time I film one of these. But it's an epic night of racing. I really hope you enjoy it. So stay tuned for all that. And in the last like two races, things get crazy. I might get punched in the helmet because the guy didn't wait till I took my helmet off. But yeah, that's at the end of the night. Yeah, this episode's gonna be great. Hope I can get good content. We only got one GoPro and four cars, so we'll figure it out. So stick around, this is gonna be a good one. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I'm doing that Derby Car Giveaway. If you want a free Derby Car to run wherever you want in Michigan, or if you want to run it at Owasso or Spartan Speedway next year for a night of destruction, all you can do is hit that subscribe button. You're automatically entered as soon as they hit 1,000 followers. Everyone gets a number. We'll do something crazy to pick out a number. You're gonna get a free derby car. So yeah, I'm excited. This is gonna be sweet. like lolling the tongue on your trailer at the racetrack. Yep, got plenty of uh, air in that tire. It's good to go. Also in that tire. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a stellar piece of equipment right here. This is our other trailer. We made that out of this scrap we had laying around. What'd you say? I said I'm being a professional fat kid. What do you think of this track food? Huh? What do you think of this track food? Fucky bun. What? Fucky no, bun. The track food. Oh, that's pretty good. The hot dogs. They're out of pulled pork today, bro. They're out of pulled pork? Yeah. Dang it. Alright, come over here to my beast. We got the Imperial. That we gutted on the last episode. Hopefully you can hear me. It's windy. There's dang gun race cars happening. Yeah, we're, we're gutted. And then we have this boat. This thing's beautiful. I'd take this home in an instant. Got the Johnson. Got the seats. This thing's 1950s all the way. Cool windshield. Yeah, we're gonna destroy it. We got them all lined up, ready to go. It's gonna be fun. I think up first is the push race, and then trunk or treat, and then the pull race. This is gonna be fun. What are we doing? Trying to fix Joe's car, it only runs at 3,000 RPMs. So, what's the first order of business? Uh, we're gonna disconnect the battery and reconnect it, try to get it out of wet mode, and cut the exhaust off. Sounds exciting. We just took the air filter off the of tube. Let's see what they're working on now.
disconnected the battery for a little bit and we'll re-hook it back up and see if it's reset. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to be like that. Hit it. You want to hook it up to the charger? Yeah, let's get the charger. Maybe it's yeah. power to the power because it's not hard. Yeah. Yeah. The pit board. Drivers of the pit board. Right there. Stronger treat time. There's TJ. So here we are doing trunk or treat, and I know tons of candy. There's all the cars. Tons of people everywhere. I'll turn you around so you can see. Look at all these people getting some candy. It's like, yeah, this is just the start tonight. It is cold. We got two cars running like crap, but we'll make it work. Brad Rosé and Darren Burton in the 7-2 team. Josh Bigelow and Josh Hansen in the 26-100. Matt Skip. Matt and Jacob in the 420 and the 84. Justin and Aaron in the 032, 442 team. Aaron and Chris Domini in the 073 team. Andrew Burton and Tony Williams in the 0597. Ian Hare and Matthew Hurst in the 21-11 team. Ashton and Unknown in 10 slash Unknown. Alex Thomas in the 33-22 team. And Ron Quinn and Joe Lewert in the 65-747 team. That's what we have on the signing sheet. And it's going to be pretty close to what's on the track, we think, maybe. This is the pole race. The car in the front has the engine, the car in the back is along for the ride. <laughs> I want to go for a ride. Also, Power Wheels Racers, your race is coming up after this. So in 15 laps, Power Wheel Racers will need to be to the track. So start making your way to your Power Wheels right now.
Josh having to negotiate some last cars.
tough break for Josh and Anthony in the 27 4 422 team coming down to take the white flag and the chain broke. So that ended their race. And it's going to hand the victory over to these two drivers, veterans of the Pure. Well, here's what ended my night. That spindle is definitely broken. Yep, I shouldn't have hit that guy. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, I know what I was thinking. I was thinking, oh, that guy's a lot faster than me. I should spin him around so we can try to catch back up to him. Or get him to separate or something. I don't know. I'm pretty disappointed in myself. But, I'm not done yet. TJ is great. Great. Oh, yeah. Has let me uh, run this beast. So we welded a hitch on it. So the boat's going on the back of this. And yeah, I'm going to destroy both, probably. Because that seems to be how my night's going. So that's next. Hopefully, hopefully you've enjoyed the video so far. Well, actually, next is the auto enduro. And the push race. Yeah, there's, it's all a mess in my head right now how I'm putting this video together. Hopefully you're enjoying it, though. Matt Jacob in the 420 84 team. Josh and Parker Unknown in the 100 team. Joseph and Unknown.
All right, now, I kind of want to go over that because it was a bit of a drama at the track. Because some people don't understand the night instruction means you're going to hit somebody sometimes. Now, when he pulled up next to me, I looked over at the trailer. And when you have a trailer like that that has nothing on it, it's really small, you, you, 
if you hit it from the side, all it does is bounce around. It really doesn't break it loose. So, as you'll see right here, I hit him going into the corner. My plan was to get him sideways and then get on his trailer. And that's exactly what I did. I got on his trailer and I also start turning away from him because I realized we're going to hit the wall and I'd rather not actually smash him in the wall and me. But I actually hooked the trailer and I'm on the trailer and I'm just kind of along for the ride at this point. And then we slam into the wall and I'm on his trailer when we hit the wall. Here's the thing. We hit the wall. I was pushing his trailer. How did his trailer not come off? I mean, if his trailer would have come off, he'd never hit the wall. It's plain as day to see in the video. But it's night of destruction racing. If you can't take a hit and you're worried about getting your stuff destroyed, you probably shouldn't be out there because it's pretty much a demolition derby on a circle track. I mean, that's the way I see it. I get junkyard cars, take them out and smash them in one event and take them back to the junkyard. It's a lot of fun. And if you got a problem with that, then maybe you should try some different type of racing. But yeah, he was quite angry. There's more of that later. But I just wanted to talk about that for a minute. Kind of is what it is. So, yeah. So here we are a couple days later, and we're at the junkyard. This is Alex's car, and as you see, she's bent pretty bad in the front end. Steering's broken. Good rubbing right here from the racing. And then we come over here to this one, the engine's just blown up. Did you have a good time? Yeah, this This thing. Yeah. Right here, ready over at Michael's Auto Salvage, where these cars came from. If you ever need some auto parts in the Howl area, uh, Michael's Auto Salvage is where you better be going. Or if you're taking back your scrap. I mean, they're nice enough to give us these cars. Best thing you can do is just 
come here and get some auto parts and support the local business. Yeah. These two are done. The other two are back at the shop. Man, this front end's crunched. Pretty bad. It was awesome, though. It's it's not, uh, what is that called? Fans only. It's YouTube. <laughs> oh. Hey, Alex here is starting a fans only. <laughs> you, you can find them at alexlikesdudes.com. Slash fans only. <laughs> only fans. Jesus, get it right. I don't go to that crap. Who pays for that stuff? Me? <laughs> Just kidding. I got better shit to spend my money on like these things. Yeah. So, we had an interesting night. TJ and Alex, what'd you finish? Second? The yeah. Second in the chain race. Second in the chain race. And then fourth in the push race. Yep, me and Joe did. Yep. And me and Joe broke... Pretty much right away. <laughs> no, Ron broke. Joe didn't break. Well, we were together. <laughs> and then, what happened next? It was uh, enduro. Uh, I got run into the wall. Joe finished third in the enduro. Really? TJ, yeah. TJ decided he was done and wanted me to race his car for the trailer race. So then it was the uh, flagpole. Flagpole. Nobody else went out but me, and I got melee. <laughs> turned into a derby. <laughs> yeah. You you angered the pier stock guy. <laughs> yeah. He decided. Oh, yeah, we did. He decided to destroy his pier stock on Alex's completely free junkyard car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Yep. You hit him in the quarter panel and helped him around the corner, and apparently that was enough for him yeah. to destroy yeah, no his kidding. car on your car. Yeah. I mean, probably sitting in the in the car, giving him, you know, like, come on, like, waving at him, you know, probably didn't help either, but. Oh, that comes out. <laughs> well, dude, he kept, he hit me, and then he, I was like, dude, what are you doing? Like, you're pushing me to the infield. We're not even going the right way on the track. Like, <laughs> let off. And then the trailer race, that was me and Joe here, and we got stuck. Pretty much right away. <laughs> First, lap. <laughs> First lap. In the mud mud bog. Yeah, that was just stupid. I don't know what they were thinking. I'm getting attacked by mosquitoes. God bless it. And then I decided that I wasn't going to let the truck pass us. That it had pretty much been the fastest thing at the track all night. <laughs> and I hit him to spin him out, and he didn't spin out. He decided he was going to try to overcorrect, and we both slammed in the wall. And I pretty much totaled a $5,000 race truck. <laughs> That's why you don't bring a five thousand dollar race truck to a night of destruction, and then proceeded to punch me in the face. But you know that'll happen. With the helmet on. Well, yeah, I had a helmet on, so it didn't really matter. <laughs> More than one altercation. Too yeah. bad Ron didn't have his GoPros going on. Yeah, next time we need more GoPros. We need more people filming. Unfortunately, we only got one angle, so I'll do hey, the best I can. You guys can help that by like, subscribing, yeah, doing all that. Remember, I'm giving away one of these cars. You want one for free? You want to show up and race with us? All you do is hit that subscribe button. As soon as you hit 1,000 followers, I'm drawn. From all of us, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a crazy night. We'll see you next time. Hey, and it never fails. Every time I run, Ronnie drive my car, flat tire. Yeah, I'm good at that. <laughs>